is like an outlet for my emotions. I don't need to use any words, I can just play. I am first chair for some pieces, which means that I help lead the orchestra so that I can help more people. I try to put myself into these leadership positions. My name is Clarecha Hesselink. I am a senior at Cedar Falls High School in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Cedar Falls is very quaint. Everybody knows each other. We are a community that really gets along. But I've heard many students trying to push their own opinions about how this COVID vaccine could change your genetic makeup in like a high school social hierarchy. If somebody has more power, it'll be really hard for other people to form their own opinions. There was like a group of guys who would make other people not want to wear masks by like peer pressure. Especially when it concerns your health, just by engaging in misinformation, you are the problem that our world is facing with fake news. Because we're in like a smaller town in Iowa, I think it's really important to read the news. I use social media and especially on like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, it can be really overwhelming at times because I'm just constantly bombarded with information from like notifications. Since we have so much information, the same topic could be coming from like 10 different sources. I think it's really hard for people to understand. In this lesson, you'll learn how to sift through all that content. Last year, I took 21st Century Literacy with Mr. Winkle. Going through those lessons, key is finding evidence, substantiating your findings with evidence. But one thing that I really learned from this course was how emotion plays into news literacy. I liked using Checkology. I used to really enjoy those eye-catching headlines. But because I took this class, I started to see how they use these kinds of strong language to make you feel a certain way, even if it wasn't true. I am the president of our volunteer club. We go around the school and we collect all the recyclable items from the bins. What I worry about for my generation is climate change. Because of this 21st century literacy class, I created a radio PSA about climate change. LEDs can do so much for this world and so can you. Take the first step and convert the lights in your home to LED. We all have a responsibility as citizens of the United States to keep our freedom by working for what's right. Whether a student is a leader or not, they should always try to stop misinformation because it can hurt everybody around them.